Hi folks, and welcome back. Hey, in this video, I'm going to cover a very common connector we use in telephone circuits called a jelly bean connector. At least that's what we call it at Ideal Industries. And you'll find other manufacturers making what we call IDC type of connections. And we use these for tapping and splicing telephone wires, basically, in a building. Now, I said telephone wires, not data networking cable. Now, could you splice some Category 5e cable with these. Well, keep in mind, first of all, data networking cable requires a dedicated cable to each device out there, so you really can't tap off and feed another device, okay? That's one problem with that kind of thinking. The other problem is that in order to use these type of connections, we're going to have to untwist quite a bit of cable. And category cable in data networking, we're only allowed to leave half-inch untwisted on either end of a connector, so uh, that's not another reason not to use jelly bean connectors. Now, if you were in an absolute pinch and you had to splice a piece of 5e cable with jelly beans and make it longer, would it actually work? And the answer is, you know, it might. And especially at 10 base T, it probably would, but uh, not what we want, okay? So really not meant for data stuff. It's only meant for telephone wires, okay? Now, the connections are called an IDC type of connections. And back in the day, you know, older telephone connections were always uh, screw type of connections a lot of cases where we'd have to actually take a conductor, uh, strip a little bit of the jacketing off the conductor, wrap the conductor around a screw or maybe in a post in like a telephone closet, and then tighten the screw down. And they actually used to use like little wire wrap tools. They would wrap that conductor tightly around a post in a telephone closet. Well, first of all, that requires us to strip the wire, which is time consuming. And then secondly, that connection is actually uh, in air, so it's uh, going to get corrodes over time. So there's corrosion is always a problem with those kind of connections. So in the early 1980s, a new type of connector came out, and it's called an IDC. Now, what that means is it's an insulation displacement connection. And essentially, when now all the connections are in the form of a V-notch cutting groove, basically. And we want to terminate a conductor. We'll insert the conductor in that cutting groove drive the conductor down with our tool and the cutting groove will cut through the jacketing and then bite into the copper and, and create what they call a gas tight seal which is resistive to corrosion okay it makes a good clean type of connection for you and you could put multiples of these connections together inside of a connector and that's essentially what you have in these jelly bean type of connections okay now you very simply need to take the end of all the conductors you need to tie together and insert them inside one of the jelly beans and then you could use our 45-719 crimping tool, which also strips and cuts the wire as needed, to actually crimp that connection down and make them those connections all one again. Okay. Now you could have used a, a basic player, pair of pliers to do this with, as long as you don't crush the connection. Probably it's okay, but having the right tool is always a good thing. Okay. Now uh, the connectors are gel filled, and so they will provide a long-lasting, weatherproof type of connection for you. Now, there are three of these connectors in Ideal's line of IDC type of connections, and uh, we color code them. And the red ones are designed for uh, actually tapping of wire. The yellow ones are actually used for splicing cables. And the blue ones also tap conductors, but they do it in a slightly different manner, which I'll show you in a minute. And we can use these type of connections for terminating and splicing and tapping basic telephone wire in buildings, okay? Now, uh, when you actually look at how you'd go about using one of these jelly bean type of connections, you know, all telephone landlines require a pair or two conductors in order to make that phone actually work. And the two conductors are referred to as a tip and a ring conductor. And if you want to learn more about telephone lines, I would encourage you to go uh, uh, look at my YouTube channel and go look at my video on basic telephone circuits. And if we needed to add a phone someplace in this building, you could essentially tap off this anywhere you wanted to. Now, all the phones are on the, on the same phone line, which is usually the case. Or I could pull a, a new cable from where the tip and ring comes into the building. But if I wanted to simply add a phone over here, I would have to then tap a, the tip and tap this ring conductor in order to give this phone actually service. Okay. Now, if I'm going to do this with a jelly bean type of connector, I would have to cut the conductors here. And I'll have these two ends that will have to go back together, okay? And then I got that third conductor going off to, from that phone, and that's essentially what the red jelly bean connectors do is they tap a line, and you'd have to do the same thing uh, to this one down here, okay? Now, the red ones will basically take 19 to 26 gauge cable, a little bit bigger than the yellow and the blue, and you could get probably 18 in it and it would probably work, but uh, uh, that's what they're rated for. But those are taps, okay? 
Now, the yellow jelly bean connector is for splicing. Say I've accidentally cut this guy's conductor, and all I need to do is get these two ends back together. That's what the yellow jelly bean does, okay? And uh, you can put uh, 22 to 26 gauge wire in it, okay? And, um, but it can only take two conductors. Now, you could have used this red one if you wanted to. Uh, uh, you just wouldn't have had a third conductor out of it, which, as a matter of fact, most cells are in red ones, okay? And uh, lastly, the blue ones. Now, the blue ones also do 22 to 26 gauge, and the blue one is also used for tapping of wires. Now, the difference is where you'll notice that on the blue ones, there's a slot running all the way down one side of the connector. And the wire I want to tap, I'm going to insert it inside that slot, okay? Then on the, there's a little bit of bump out on the other on one side of the connector, and underneath that bump out is a small hole that I can lay a tap wire out of. And when I use my crimping tool to crimp it down, it'll make those one again and actually tap the wire where, where, where they need to tap there. Now, the big difference between the blue and the red, they both do the same thing. They both tap. Big difference is the red one, I had to cut the guy's conductor in order to tap the line or disrupt his service in order to tap it. The blue ones, I can actually tap a line without disrupting somebody's service because it will not cut that wire you're tapping. Okay, so if you're the FBI or the CIA, you might occasionally use the blues, but most of the uh, cells are actually in red ones. Okay, well, there you have it. That's Ideal's line of jelly bean style of connectors. Thanks for coming to the channel. Hey, I'm Ron with Ideal Industries, and I'll see you on the next one.